How to build a simple tri-band ground plane antenna coming up. Good morning, Charlie here with Red Summit RF. Today we're going to build a ground plane tribander. And it's a project that I've been wanting to do for some time. I do a lot of soda, as everybody knows, and I wanted to be able to use my tribander up on the summit without packing three different uh, antennas with me. Now, I have the rubber ducks, but I wanted something that performs a little bit better than the rubber ducks without having to take all those antennas. So today I have a solution and we're gonna build it. The design has been around for a while and I've seen a few people use this antenna in the field after they've built it. So if you pull up a web browser and I'm gonna pull up Google and do a search for the ground plane antenna, just type in ground plane antenna and then I'm gonna click on images, you'll see all sorts of designs. You'll see some that uh, are built directly onto a uh, connector, such as an SO239. And you'll also see some of them that are built using telescoping radials. So our design today is going to incorporate both of those, both the SO239 uh, connection. Uh, we're going we're gonna to build a ground plane off of that, but we're going to use the telescoping antennas. And, uh, or, or maybe it's pronounced telescoping antennas, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna use that as our design, so uh, let's get started. Let's start off this build by going over the parts you'll need. So the first thing I'll point out are these four uh, telescoping antennas. You can get these on, on Amazon for, I don't know, maybe, I think you can get them for about three bucks a piece, four bucks a piece. They're, they're, they come in packs of two for seven. Uh, but what you want to look for is uh, you want to have them so that they have this uh, a thread right here uh, so that uh, you can screw them in. So I have right here, I went to my Ace Hardware store and found some of these threaded screws. And uh, they, they, uh, they match this perfectly. And so you want some uh, antennas, these telescoping antennas that will bend here at the bottom and that uh, have the uh, thread in them. So uh, the other thing is this uh, SO239 chassis mount. You'll need one of these. Uh, you can get all different kinds. Let me show you two different kinds here. You'll see uh, the pin is bigger in this one than it is in this one. And also you'll see that there's a, there's a difference in, in uh, the, this one has, some, has kind of a flush part right here, that uh, part of the pin, and this one is just straight through to the core. So, you know, they're different. They're different thicknesses this way. I don't know. I, I like this one because I, I uh, know the size of this pin, um, but you're just gonna have to find one that works, and then you're gonna have to. What the next item is is the uh, is the titanium drill bit, and what you need to do is you need to find a drill bit that fits this size of the pin here, and you know mine is a uh, is this middle one here. It's a seven sixty fourths. That fits this pin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill out the bottom of one of these. So, so you'll need to get a, a titanium drill so that you can drill into the metal. And then a screwdriver, you'll need that of course. So the last item would be this uh, Dremel. So that's how this uh, project will go and that's the, uh, the uh, parts you will need for this. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of the uh, first part which is to cut the, uh, take one of these antennas and uh, cut it off and drill a hole in it. So that's what we'll do next, out in the shed. Okay, now we're going to trim this a little bit.
We got the hole. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to put some some solder right here and, and uh, kind of get that tinned. Then we'll do the same here at the bottom of this antenna and get that tinned. And then what we'll do is we'll we'll stick this on here and we'll heat it up and hopefully it will solder to the pin. Now that we have this uh, antenna, telescoping antenna, attached to the SO239, the final, well not the final step, but the next step is going to be to uh, attach these. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the screw in through the SO239 and then screw that into the telescoping antenna and tighten it down. And we want to do it so that it's uh, kind of Pretty even with the edge there like that and I've seen some people who have you know they've they put a bolt on top right here they put a bolt right here uh, we're just gonna solder it that's what I'm gonna do anyway I've also seen some people put uh, uh, what is it uh, two-part epoxy on top uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that either so I will just add these and then I will solder them and we'll be done. So here's our finished product, or almost finished anyway. Uh, I don't have the best soldering skills on uh, really uh, a lot of, I mean, I can do the, the, the pads on the electronic stuff, but uh, this heavy stuff, it's, it's, it escapes me how, how uh, to do it. So I am not the best at it, but I've got uh, the four ends connected and soldered, and I've got the pin in the middle soldered. So now uh, we'll connect this antenna uh, to some sort of a mast and then we'll tune it. So I'm going to use my normal antenna mast that I take with me on all my soda activations and then over here what I have is a this is a uh, this is going to be a one inch uh, diameter PVC pipe it's uh, about two feet and then this one here is is a three-quarter PVC pipe about the same distance. Then we've got this T. This T is for three quarter, and then we've got this uh, sleeve here, this connect, this uh, extender, and that's for uh, the one inch. We'll just take and put the sleeve over the top of this T into this pipe, and then and then this pipe here, it's like that. Not the smaller ones but this this size right here seems to fit right around this PVC pipe so I'm just gonna put the PVC pipe right over this kind of stick it there and it kind of sticks and then and then push it up it has to be a BNC connector otherwise it won't fit it won't it won't go around this corner here so BNC connector comes up here and then I'm gonna I, and then I attach on the BNC as a uh, as a converter to the uh, SO239 
and we attach it right here and then we just stuff that down in there see how that fits nice and snug and it just works just fine so there's a look at it so what we're gonna do first is we're going to tune for a two meters and I know that roughly for this antenna two meters is gonna these uh, antenna telescoping antennas are gonna be roughly uh, about 20 inches each so I'm going to extend each of them 20 inches all right you can see that they've been extended out and look at that do I need to do anything I don't think so 1 to 1.2 and 50 ohms so 20 inches is it. Next, we're going to bring this into 13 and 5 eighths inches. Okay, now we're gonna put this back up and we'll see uh, about the tuner again. That's a, that's a one to one there, but, but when I put it at uh, 223 where I want it, we got a one to five. I brought it in a little bit and it's just right to 13 inches even on, on the four radials and the uh, driven element. And when I did that, uh, the SWR came right down to nearly one to one. In fact, it is one to one there at 222.4, which is right where I want to transmit from. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure these now to, to just six inches. And it looks like they're all too long, so we're just gonna bring them all the way in and hope for the best. We're gonna use the SWR bridge because the MFJ doesn't go uh, to that high of a frequency, so we're just going to key up and see uh, what the uh, SWR bridge says on on uh, 440 uh, with the telescoping telescoping whips all the way in. November Juliet seven Victor. All right, SWR was one to one point five. Still, I think I was able to do it. Seven Victor. Good morning. Hey there, Dan. Just uh, checking, uh, just uh, testing out my new uh, antenna here. Looks like my SWR is right around a, I don't know, maybe a 1.5 to 1, so not too bad for nothing. Good. Thanks for coming back. I'm heading away here to finish this up. NJ7B. All right. All right. All right, one more test here. Let's turn on the radio. I'm gonna go to a simplex channel and uh, do 144.410, see if I can get somebody. W7USA, NJ7B. Look at that. W7USA. Hey there, just uh, testing out a new antenna I built. Looks like one-to-one -one SWR and uh, all the power I can get, I can ask for. Well, you're not full scale, but I think uh, I've seen you full scale. You, you at home, be you uh, on a mobile or where you at? You're about you're five and nine, good copy. Yeah, I just built a, uh, a ground plane with the telescoping uh, antennas, and so I'm out in my backyard with an HT connected to uh, that new antenna I built, so that's not bad. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's, it sounds good. Uh, little, uh, a little noise in the background, but not bad, almost full flying. Great, well, that must be the wind, maybe. <laughs> aye, aye. All right, uh, Ray, thank you, and 73 to you. Happy 7 USA. Mark, this is uh, 13, and make that, uh, I'm gonna say that that's gonna be a 220. And then this one here is going to be two meters. And that's gonna be 20 inches. Well, that's it. We were able to build this antenna. We got it tuned and tested. We were able to test it on uh, all three bands and either key up the uh, repeater or talk to somebody. And so uh, that's it. Uh, if you are watching this on the premiere and uh, not later, you might want to stick around after the, all the antenna builds and other antenna videos have been uh, gone through. We have a, a temporary offline who will be hosting a after uh, antenna night uh, gathering. So uh, catch that if you will at the very end. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll uh, catch you on the next one. And uh, 73 to you.